So, starting with the classic shot from inside the medicine cabinet, because how else would you start a video like this? Uh, the question, can what's inside this bottle keep you running longer and with fewer joint injuries? That's the claim, but what does the actual science say? So if you couldn't tell by the title, we're talking about glucosamine, a supplement that markets itself as being able to improve your joint health. Obviously, if you're a runner, healthy joints are a good thing, but how much of the claims are just marketing and hype? I called up Dr. Jenna Blomer. She's not only an assistant professor of pharmaceutical and biomedical sciences at Toro College of Pharmacy, but she's also a runner herself. Right off the bat, she says, you really need to understand whatever it is you might be taking. What does the research say? So glucosamine is actually something that is naturally found in the body, and it helps to build cartilage and also the fluid surrounding our joints. And we know that runners, you know, they're putting a lot of stress on their joints, particularly their knees. So the idea is that by taking this kind of supplement, it can help uh, support the joints and potentially reduce the pain and the risk of things like osteoarthritis. So that's the idea. Uh, what do we know about the reality? The evidence is not really there to show that it, taking it benefits uh, performance overall although it, it does have theoretical benefits and at the, the cellular level, uh, we can see that it could help with our joints. So it's like you're saying, we know it, there's a benefit on the cellular level. Yes. People are made up of cells. So in theory, that should have a benefit for a person, but we don't quite know that for sure. <laughs> Right. It's like the, the evidence is not that strong. It's not that clear. Um, some studies have shown benefit. Others have not shown benefit. So we don't know across the board whether it is going to be helpful. So the good news here is that she says, look, this supplement is relatively safe. Uh, if there are side effects, they're usually pretty mild. But look, the big question stands. Should you actually take this if there is not overwhelming evidence that it works? If your friend came up to you, your runner friends, like, hey, look, uh, I'm thinking about taking this thing, what would you say to them? For me personally, would I take it? Probably not, because I, I think that the, the benefits and the evidence that we have might not outweigh like the cost of it um, and the inconvenience of taking a supplement and those kind of things. So in most cases, it would probably be okay to try it if you would like to, but uh, me personally, I probably wouldn't. So there you have it, the opinion of a pharmacist slash professor slash runner. Hopefully you found it useful and interesting. If you did, let me know, a like or a comment or a subscribe or whatever. As I always mention this channel, it's a big experiment as I try and, uh, uh, you know, get answers to questions that I've always had about this sport that me and so many others have grown to love. So hopefully you got something out of it. Until next time.